behind me is a little closet door that I'm not too fond of, and I'm, I'm gonna be removing this whole closet and rebuilding a new design, something that I like and that feels better to me. So I'm gonna be getting rid of this, and uh, so stick around. And I've also got another doorway right here that I'm gonna be cutting out. I'm gonna show you how to cut out these two doorways and then one more doorway right here. I have three doorways. So let me take you in close here. And you can see I've removed the sheetrock and taken out the nails and screws and all that. And I just want to get rid of this door and do free floating shelves and maybe a sliding door or something like that. Or a curtain or just something that looks better than this. So, uh, but you'll have to stick with me for several weeks before that happens. Um, okay, so, and then there's this doorway right here. And you can see it's just a normal doorway like you would come into a bedroom doorway and i'm going to show you an example on this as well how i'm cutting that out and then there's this doorway right here which i made another video on and actually this video is going to defeat the purpose of that video but you can watch both and learn a little bit from each video so i'm going to show you how i do that as well so there's three doorways i got to cut out and I'm gonna be sheetrocking over two of them and making one, this one right here. I'm gonna be making a whole new design. Well, these three doorways are gonna shape the design of this house and change a lot of things. So stick with me. I'm gonna take this sawzall and I'm basically gonna cut out these doorways. I'm cutting the screws. <laughs> Removing this stud because I'm going to move it over to where I like it. It's already cut the right length. I'm going to move it over and I'm going to cut this bottom plate over a little bit as well. Okay, this is smooth now and I'm going to take you in close, but I'm going to cut this bottom plate first. Doorway one, gone. And I've moved this two by four over from here, over to here, flat and flush. All these are flush. All the way up. You can see around this doorway, there's two studs. Doorway, mine's better. If you wanna check out that one, how I frame that door, it's right there. That's more correct than this older one. Um, but you can see I've taken the saws on and cut around the edges to get those doors cut out down the lines, down here and across here. And those frames came right out, cut across here, down here, down there, and the frames came right out. 
<laughs> Here's a quick example of how I'm gonna cut the sheetrock around the doorway. I'm gonna do this the same way on the one we're working on over here. I'm gonna do this on all three. I go ahead and cut the sheet and get it in place, set it in place, and I actually put all the screws in. Every single screw is already in. I'm already completely done. All I'm gonna do now is take this along. Okay, and you have to move it pretty fast and put a light pressure upwards. Otherwise, you'll start cutting into your wood and you don't wanna do that. Okay. Go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel if this was helpful in any way.